everyone, this is Sarah, and it's time for our live video chat. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Like I said, it's time for our live video chat, and today is going to be super duper fun. Super duper duper fun. <laughs> Because my birthday's coming. <laughs> well, if you'll notice, I got lots of donutty things around me. I've got my donut pillows. I've got some donut decorations. I've got my new donut hat, donut scarf. We are donut crazy today. Well, <clears throat> every year around my birthday, my birthday is actually February 12th. And so every year around my birthday, I like to put out a new and silly hat. And I told my daughter-in-law <clears throat> that I wanted to do a donut hat, and I could not figure out how I could do it to make it look like a donut without just being a hat. And so she said, why don't you do one of those messy bun hats? I'm like, idea! And so I did. It's got the brown part of the donut. It's got the pink with the sprinkles. On the top, I've got my ponytail through the hole of the donut. <laughs> and I have to tell you, it's super duper easy. This pattern will be coming out probably Friday or next Monday. Be looking for it because it's super duper easy and it's really fun to wear. And you don't even have to make it like the donut colors. You can make it in other colors and it's just a regular messy bun hat. And it's super warm too because I did it in double. Um, worsted weight with two strands so it works up fast so anyway I thought I'd share that with you today's theme is all about my birthday and all about donuts I've got some giveaways for you but we're going to kind of do the video in reverse I'm not going to talk backwards <laughs> but we're going to instead of doing um, our conversation and then going into what's new I'm going to talk about what's new first and then we're going to get into our giveaway okay that way, anyone who comes in a little bit late will understand how the giveaways are going to work. I think you're really going to enjoy this. It's going to be fun. So, first things first. Let's clink in. Check out this cup. It says, I don't care. <laughs> Is that the cutest thing? I got this at Walmart <clears throat> um, probably a year ago. And I was making myself a cup of coffee, and I turned around and just dropped it right on the floor. So it has a little crack on the side. You probably can't see it. And it leaks a little, so I don't use it very often, but it's so adorable. And, of course, I'm the one who broke it, so. <laughs> and just to keep with the theme, I am drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee. <laughs> so good morning, Michelle and Tina, Dana, Tammy, Susie, Jennifer, and Crystal and Tammy, did I get you in there twice? I sure did. She's here twice. <laughs> I'm glad you're here today, and I hope a whole bunch more will pop in for those giveaways. All right, so let's talk a little more about what's new this week at Posh Pooch Designs. Of course, my hat. It's going to be a free pattern and a video. And also my scarf. And this scarf is made from my original donut coaster pattern. And so I'm going to redo the, uh, the video and the and show you how to make it into this fun scarf. I made it all different colors and kinds. I just absolutely love it. And it's super fun to wear. And I'm going to pick up my granddaughter and we're going to go over to the donut house. And I think I'm going to wear my hat and my scarf just to be silly. And the donut house is just a local <clears throat> donut shop. And the way they do it is they make a bunch of donuts and they stay open till the donuts are gone. And when the donuts are gone, they just close. They have the best pineapple fritters. If you've ever had a pineapple fritter, the best. Okay, so that's two things we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do is these donut. You can use it as a washcloth. You can use it as a hot pad if you make it out of cotton. And then you can also use it as a placemat. <clears throat> Maybe put your ice cream or your plate with your donut on it, on it as well. So it's super fun. It's nice and big. It's about 11 and a half inches across. And that's going to be a new pattern and video coming out this week also. Three new donut pattern videos. Now, the pattern for the, you see the pillows behind me right back here? The pattern for those is already out there. It's a free pattern. It was a crochet along we did last year. And I think it's in three parts. 
we did the top then we did the bottom and then we put it together and added the sprinkles super really really easy pattern and i think you'll love that also that one's already out there so that's done the other two things i wanted to show you is yesterday we did lesson three in back to crochet basics and lesson three was basically learning how to single crochet in a circle and we made these fun little coasters and they're perfect size for your coffee cup or a glass or something like that so if you want to make those that's a free pattern out there just go to the um, back to crochet basics part three or lesson three and then remember there are 12 lessons and each lesson <clears throat> we're going to learn something and then we'll also have a little project to practice what we learned so that one I did yesterday it was so funny. I, <laughs> my, uh, I had a bunch of errands to run in the morning, and then I got home and wanted to tidy it up and get the video finished and edited and everything. And I had a few parts I wanted to video still, and I got so tongue-tied, and I kept uh, calling it, instead of calling this a coaster, I kept calling it a cloister. <laughs> And I had to redo it and redo it. If you've ever done videos, um, you know that it's not just a straight shot. You don't start from beginning to end. And when I make a video, I probably do about 25 that I get rid of because of, you know, like that. It couldn't say the right word or, or maybe as I was working, my hands went higher and higher and before long, my hands are out of the video or something. So making videos isn't always easy. I love it. It's lots of fun. But I do make a lot of mistakes and I have to fix them a lot of times. <laughs> okay. The other thing that we finished up last week was how to make these furry uh, faux fur pom-poms. And I did a video, I think it was on Friday or maybe it was Thursday. Can't remember. But it's super easy. I show you how to make a round template in two sizes. I show you how to cut it and how to make it. And it's really, really easy. And these are pretty expensive if you go to any store and try to find them. And I did try to find them. I had a hard time finding some. And then when I did, they were a little more expensive. <laughs> fur off this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it was a little more expensive than what I wanted to pay. And when you just buy a section, I bought them at Walmart, of the fun fur, you can get about four or six, depending on the sizes, out of one. And they're like three or four dollars. And so you can get four to six, depending on sizes, for three or four dollars, opposed to paying like five or six a piece. So that's a good way to save some money. And they had lots of different colors. The only place I found the fun fur by the just a sheet was at Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Now, any fabric store, you can have them cut you off off the bolt of fake fur, or faux fur, I should say. <laughs> and they can cut you off a strip. It just ended up to me being about the same price. <clears throat> and I didn't need a whole lot. And so I bought five or six different colors of just the pieces. So that's something that we did this week. And then I want to answer one quick question. One of the questions that came up in making these is when I tie mine up in the center, I always put a little dot of um, fabric glue or hot glue. But I found with the hot glue, when you wear it and it warms up a little bit, it gets a little tacky. And so what I use, because I, I had a lot of questions about what kind of fabric glue do I use. And this is the one that I use. It's called Aileen's, I think. Yeah, Aileen's No Sew Fabric Glue. And this bottle cost me $2.99. And I bought it five years ago, and it's still practically full. Because all you're doing is just putting a little dot. And I do that sometimes when I'm making even a crochet project um, that where I, I really, I don't like to put knots, but sometimes it's kind of necessary, depending on where you're at, to do a little knot. And you can just add that little bit of glue, and it takes about an hour to dry because it is a little thicker. It's, it's like a really, really thick um, Elmer's glue when you're putting it on, but this fabric glue is washable. If you're going to wash whatever you made, um, you can toss it in the wash machine and it's going to be just fine. I do not recommend you toss these in the wash machine. If you want your pom-pom to be able to be taken off so you can wash your hat, pull your strings through like in the video and just tie a bow that can be taken out. And then you can pop this off and throw your hat in the washing machine. But I had some questions about what kind of glue I use. And this is it. Aileen's No Sew Fabric Glue. Totally washable. And it dries really hard, almost like a super glue. Um, 
you know, that you get in those tubes, but it doesn't stick all over your fingers and you don't end up gluing your fingers together. <laughs> all righty, are we ready for some giveaways? <clears throat> I know it's my birthday, but I wanted to do some giveaways for you all. And just to thank you for being my faithful friends and my faithful followers here on Facebook and on YouTube. And don't forget, I have a Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Etsy. I'm on Ravelry. I'm on Craftsy. You can find me lots of different places. My webpage, of course, is on every picture, www.poshpushdesigns.com. And if you go to that webpage, you can find all of the places where I'm at as well. It's just, I call it a portal. <laughs> it's just a web page that has everywhere I'm at. And you can click on it. You can even contact me through there. And I wanted to just thank you all for, for just helping me in my growth on YouTube and on Facebook to be a success because I can't do what I do without you all. You all are the best. And you know, even, uh, even occasionally when I get a, a, a comment that's not very nice, I don't care because you all always give me such wonderful comments. You're so kind. You're so thoughtful. And I so, so, so much appreciate you. So here's what I've got for you. Now, <clears throat> the way this giveaway is going to work is I'm going to be giving away two things on the Facebook Live video where you're going to need to comment. All the comments that you're already making, excellent. Okay, then I'm going to be putting this over on YouTube, and there'll be two prizes for all for um, randomly chosen two people off of my YouTube channel. So let me make sure I explain this correctly. All the comments put you in for a chance to win these two items, or these two sets of items, I should say. Um, and, I, and we will randomly pick. I usually have my granddaughter do it. That way she doesn't know who's who. Um, she'll randomly pick two people from the Facebook Live video comments and two people from the comments on YouTube video when I post it over there. And you're going to win a chance to win these two prizes. And there'll be two prizes for each set. So <clears throat> let me get this stuff together here. So each prize, you'll win a skein or skein of chip chic chick sheep see i can't get my mouth to work sometimes from red heart designed by marley bird and this fancy crochet hook will be one of the giveaways and i have two of those that have been given one will be given away like i said here on the facebook live video and one will be given away from the comments on youtube as well you can comment both places you can comment on YouTube, then go comment on Facebook. You can comment on Facebook, and then go comment on YouTube. Super easy. All right, so, and this is an H hook. Isn't that the neatest thing? So you'll get a skein of this yarn and the hook if you win the prize. Okay, so that's one prize that's going to be given out on each. The other prize is, are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's a sad thing. Da, 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 that's better. <laughs> I've got a gift card for Hobby Lobby for each group. And all, again, all you have to do is comment on Facebook Live, this comment on this live video, and comment on this video on YouTube for a chance to win a $10 gift card at Hobby Lobby. I was going to get them from Michael's, and I, it was so funny. I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and their registers were down. And I thought, okay, maybe I should just go to Michael's and get them because everybody likes both stores. They both have great selections of yarn, and they both have different selections of yarn. <clears throat> and then, um, so then I forgot to run by Michael's and get it. So then yesterday I went to go to Michael's first, and guess what? The registers were down. So I thought, hmm, that's a sign for me to go to Hobby Lobby. All right. So now, just to remind you, you have from today until next Tuesday because next Tuesday is the 12th or actually the 13th you'll have till next Monday the 12th to make to write your comments in you don't have to say I need it I want it or anything just comment I like giveaways or whatever it doesn't matter whatever you want to comment as long as there's a comment there you're in for a chance to win one of those two prizes and remember you can go on Facebook and comment and you can go on Google or on a 
Yeah, YouTube, Google, Google YouTube, <laughs> and comment there. You can comment both places. And then on next Tuesday, which is the 13th, I'll give the results of the winners and explain to you how to send me. Basically, you can contact me and send me your email address so that I can contact you and get your shipping address. So <clears throat> it's that simple, super duper easy way to do it. And the, the Chick Sheep yarn is not in stores yet. You can only purchase this on Red Heart's website. And they gave me two skeins, one for each of them. And then these are the hooks. These are purchased from Hobby Lobby. There we go. They're H hooks, so you can use these hooks with these skeins of yarn. Okay, and then of course, the gift cards. Super fun, isn't that great? I'm really excited about that. Okay, so now there's one other thing that's happening. It started this morning. All of my paid crochet patterns in Ravelry are all 55% off. And I did that <laughs> because I'm going to be 55. And um, I got some really nice comments when I said that last time because they're like, oh, I thought you were my age. I'm 30. Well, I have a 33 and a 30-year-old child. My daughter's 33. Oh, wait. Is she 34? She's 34, and my son is 31. Okay, I got lost in translation. <laughs> anyway, thank you for thinking I look young. I don't, I don't dye my hair at all. I pull the, the glitter. <laughs> so anyway, all you have to do is go to Ravelry, and um, as many patterns, there's no exceptions, whatever patterns I have that are in my Ravelry um, shop are 55% off. And all you have to do is put the code in, HAPPY SPACE BIRTHDAY in all caps. And you can buy as many patterns as you want. And this sale is also good from today. It started this morning when the, when the sun came up <laughs> until next Monday night at midnight. So that's just something fun. If, you, if you've never tried any of my dog hat, dog sweaters, um, patterns, and you just want to try one at a, you know, a discount price, see if you like it. Um, you're not going to have to spend as much money. I do sell them because those are the things that pay for like my website and my email and all those sorts of things, my blog, so that I can keep going and keep having fun <clears throat> with my crochet addiction. <laughs> I don't call it an addiction. Someone said to me the other day, and I posted it on my, on my regular Facebook, that maybe it's not a yarn addiction. Maybe the yarn is addicted to me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm going with that. <laughs> All right, so I have one more thing I want you to do. I thought it would be hilarious and fun. If you want to comment again, <laughs> you can comment as many times as you want to. I want you to replace the word in a movie title with the word crochet. Here's some examples. Instead of Star Wars, how about Crochet Wars? <laughs> Here's another one. <clears throat> I can't even read my own writing there. One of my favorite movies was Saturday Night Live. So in my world, it would be Saturday Night Crochet. <laughs> I would love, love, love that um, you would participate in that because I think it would be hilarious. And of course, those comments gives you a reason to... Get another comment in for a chance to win and have a little fun. Because it's all about having fun, right? It's my birthday. And I don't consider myself getting old. I just consider myself getting wiser. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's all I've got for you today. Remember, you can comment on Facebook. And once I get it over to YouTube, which will probably be about an hour once I get it edited and everything, you can comment over there as well, YouTube and Facebook. And if you comment on YouTube, come back over and comment on Facebook. All righty. And I'll give the results of those winners next Tuesday. I'll do it right at the top of the video. And then I'll probably do it at the end as well to make sure um, that you get it. Okay. And then you'll have another week to respond because I know a lot of times you miss a video or you have, you know, and you watch it later and, and things like that. So anyway, I just want you all to know how much that I appreciate 
you follow me on Facebook and watching my videos on YouTube and what a blessing and encouragement it is to me when you make those wonderful, wonderful comments. Have a great week. Happy birthday to me.